with you all summer and after playing love with you all summer and after playing love with you. I'm a mess inside. I'm sweating. These lights. These lights, man. Okay. <laughs> Hello, friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jackie. I am not dead. I am alive and here. Subscribe. So today's video is going to be my skincare, I guess favorites, routine, what I've been using and putting on my face. Maybe a summer skincare routine because this is what I've been using on my skin for the past few months and my skin's been looking pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so jumping right into it, I'm just gonna share with you guys what I've been using and putting on this canvas and what's been working for me. Okay, so nighttime. So the first thing I do at night is get rid of the makeup. So I will go in with either the Bioderma. This is like my third or fourth bottle of this stuff. I love this stuff. Used it for years. It is the best micellar water that I have come across. It's beautiful. So I use this or I kind of been getting into the cleansing towelettes thing. I was always kind of against it. I just didn't really like the concept of it, I guess. I just thought it made me dirtier and it was gross. A lot of times I would get really irritated by some, but these are actually the Burt's Bees Micellar Cleansing Towelettes, three in one. Makeup removing wipes, I guess. Removes makeup, cleanses, hydrates. I use these as kind of like the first step of getting like the basics off my face, like the big basics off my face, like the big majority of my makeup off, I guess, and then I go into the cleansing. So I've been liking these, love Bioderma, definitely recommend snagging a bottle or a pack. Then in terms of cleansing, so this has always been a tried and true favorite, but it is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This stuff is amazing. It gets rid of all my makeup and it just leaves me feeling very fresh, not tight. It's pretty moisturizing, but it's very gentle yet effective at getting all my makeup off. I love using it on my eyes to get all the rest of my eye makeup off. It smells like cucumbers. It's amazing. Also, look at this packaging that they came out with. I already got another bottle of this one because I was like, amazed by it. Love it. Amazing. Go buy it. Going into another fresh product. This is actually not sponsored. I promise. I just love fresh apparently. So this is the fresh soy face exfoliant. I did not know that this thing existed. I came across it at Sephora and, and it smells exactly like the cleanser, but it gently retexturizes and refines. It's very gentle, but like, it's like, an intense exfoliator. I'm like not making sense. It's like, it doesn't feel super abrasive. It feels gentle enough to use daily if you wanted to, but it's also a more deep cleanse is how I would describe this. And then another cleansing kind of thing, I guess. It's more of like a treatment mask type thing. This is if I want a gentle, like a really, really gentle chemical exfoliator. This is the Elemis Papaya Enzyme Peel. Ho ho! This stuff, this stuff, smells, I want to eat it. I won't, don't worry, but I want to. It smells so good, it's super gentle, but it also makes my skin feel like a baby's bum at the end of it, which I like. All right, so that is the cleansing portion of the face. And then, right after I cleanse, I love to go in with a little toner. So what I've been using is the Pixi Glow Tonic Exfoliating Toner with 5% glycolic acid. This is the jumbo size. It's great, it's pretty, it's lovely, it's got a little pump. I love it, it's so good. It's just a nice exfoliating toner, I guess. Well, that's what it says. <laughs> yeah, this is just really good at balancing my skin after I'm, like, I'm cleansing, kind of just like makes me feel like I'm really getting like the last bit of crud off my face. Lovely. Yeah, but I love this stuff. I've used a lot of it. This thing was full, believe me, and it's amazing. Now, maybe I haven't talked about this before, but I am a face mist freak, and way too many. It's a problem. I don't really care. So, 
If you're looking for a more fancy face mist, I really recommend the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. This stuff is on the pricier side. I think it's around $49. I got it in like a pack. I got it for a deal, don't worry. But it was something that I've always loved. I have like a, they have like a travel version. They have this size. This is the biggest size, I believe. And it just smells, like when I use it, I feel Royal. I feel like it's just like peppermint glow and like oils on my face. It's refreshing. It like sets my makeup, makes me feel like I'm at a spa. It's lovely. Definitely recommend if you're looking for a more luxe product. If you're not and you're cheap or poor like me, Trader Joe's Rose Water Facial Toner Hydrate and Refresh. This stuff, head on over to, I keep, why do we keep, I'm just like energetic today. Okay, so if you head on over to Trader Joe's, this is probably like three or four dollars. Not really sure. I got this as a gift, but I've been to Trader Joe's and I've seen it. And it's amazing. It's got witch hazel in it, it's got rose water, it's got glycerin. It's got a lot of good stuff in here, and it's really cheap but effective. So I love it. Okay, then at night, I really like to keep it pretty simple in terms of what I use on my face, like to sleep in overnight. So I really will just go in first with the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. This stuff is like a cult classic, has such a great following, such great reviews. Look it up. It is like Estee Lauder's best selling product, I would say. I mean, I just made that up. I have no idea. But it's amazing. I've used quite a bit of it and I need a backup because I'm terrified I'm going to run out of it. <laughs> it's okay. But it's just a really good serum. It's kind of more towards like anti-aging, but I really think that it helps like brighten my skin, brighten any discoloration or hyperpigmentation. Just makes me feel very plumped and dewy and I love it. I wake up in the morning with like beautiful skin. I think. Maybe. Then. Another product that I have been loving, and I've used like almost all of it, is the Differin Gel. This has been, I think this is just like an over-the-counter acne treatment retinoid, I would say. But it's just very, very gentle, but super effective. I feel like I've said that about all of my products, but it's the truth. I like to be gentle, but I like to get shit done. This stuff is so good. Like Whenever I see a little guy come into the surface, pop some of this on, and it'll be dramatically healed within a few days. Sometimes if I want just like a little tad bit of extra hydration at night, I'll go in with this <clears throat> Desert Essence 100% Pure Jojoba Oil. Jojoba is actually really good if you suffer from any acne or breakouts because it acts very similar to sebum, which is like the natural oil that our skin produces. So it kind of tricks your skin into like not forming as much oil because it's already there. Does that make sense? Look it up, it's a thing. Okay, in the morning, I will go in with this guy. You know what this is? This is your best friend. Oh no, oh my god, they all went flying almost. Go buy a pack of these, get them online, get them on Amazon, get them on Alibaba, get them somewhere because these things will change your life effectively, dramatically, dramatically. They are just little spoolies that you can get. Mine are pink obviously, but you can get little spoolies and they exfoliate my lips. I'm not gonna do it now, but woo, it's good. Buy them. But another fresh product is the fresh, these are new, the Sugar Coconut Hydrating Lip Balm. They had like a caramel one that was really popular, then they made like a whole bunch of other flavors. This is the coconut one. Obviously I love coconut. Oh, it smells so good, I'm not gonna put it on, but it's amazing. And I love it for nighttime, especially because it's super hydrating and thick. So I wake up and it's like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, you know it. So then I will go in with the 100% pure coffee bean caffeine eye cream in the morning. Did I say this was morning? Did I not say this was morning already? I think I did. So I'll go in with 100% pure coffee bean caffeine eye cream for dark circles and puffiness. I like to use this in the morning just cause like, I know, I, I associate caffeine with the morning time, even though I don't really drink coffee. It's great. And then, I use the most important step in the morning time, should always be SPF. So I love, love, love the Australian Gold Mineral Lotion Non-Greasy, oh this is a, this is a lot of work. Mineral Lotion Non-Greasy Antioxidant Rich UVA UVB Protection Botanical Sunscreen Tinted Face. 
SPF 50. Did I say that already? I think so, but that's a mouthful. But this stuff is the best stuff ever because it acts kind of like the way like a primer would. So I love using it in the morning. Obviously, I mean, I have to use it in the morning, but I love using it in the morning, especially because it's great under makeup. It's just so nice. It's like whipped and cushiony and evens out my skin and makes me feel so smooth and supple. I love it. Go get it. Okay, that is it. Thank you for watching this video. I'm sorry that I am in a very weird mood today and I'm sweating profusely and I can't put my AC on because it'll be too loud. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. I love you all so much. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I think it's over here. Subscribe right there, click that button. Click the bell if you wanna get notifications. And I'll see you next time. I promise I will post another video soon. I love you all. Mwah. Bye. I don't know, but that's a thing. So over moist, moist, over. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so subscribe. A little goes a long way. Oh god. Ugh. Sleep for ex Oh my god! Exfoliating ah! toner. And oh my god, I keep dropping things. So, I, I, I'm, I'm getting too active. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> what was I saying? <laughs> okay. With you all summer and after.